What is going on guys today? We are looking at another 88 Jamie Vardy and it's going to be a quick one with this one because we already have a record breaker that we already have done a detailed review on. I just wanted to kind of see what the difference was in, in terms of because he has got less necessarily a couple of less pace, uh, a couple of less shooting, sorry, a couple of less uh, dribbling, one less physical and he has got one more passing. But the price difference is unreal. Record breakers coming in at just under half a mil and his inform or his second inform is coming under 280 on the first day. That for me is, is very interesting because it basically shows you for literally five extra different stats you can get pretty much the same card. It, it, it's unreal. It's unreal the price difference. Let me know down below have you used Vardy yet? Let me know down below what you think about Vardy and if you have used him at all this year in any version. So if we go into Vardy, like I said, in terms of his kind of difference, the price is practically going to be half. It's unreal that that is the, the case. Anyone with a record breaker bar of Vardy, I don't know if he went up or down in terms of the last few hours. It looks like they're, they're days. If you kind of, he's kind of gone down a downwards trend. At the start of the week, he was about 500. So he has lost a good 50k in value so far. Just because the, the inform is 282k on the Xbox and 263 on the PlayStation. Unreal. The, the prices are going to drop even more during rewards. And then obviously we, we have got the rest of his stats to look at. He's a three star, three star, which is enough personally for me to, to kind of turn away from him. If it was a four star, four star would be looking at an absolute machine in front of goal. He's got great pace good finishing he's got a little bit of physical nothing really too much mainly more aggression than actual strength and then he's got a bit of dribbling but without the agility balance so for me he's kind of like that that quick player but with no kind of like direction dribbling wise he can only move so much but he does manage to finish if you get him in front of goal he is a very very nice finisher in terms of chemistry style people are definitely looking at that engine because we've already got so much finishing they don't need to put any more on him in terms of engine we get 95 pace 87 dribbling which does sort out the balance by a hell of a lot giving it a plus 10 and then we get plus 5 on the agility as well as an extra bonus of getting plus 6 on the passing so let's jump into some gameplay quick on and get into this so in front of goal Jamie Vardy's always been pretty good at it. He's managed to normally get through and, and kind of get quite a few goals. There's no denying that. He just manages to do it. I don't personally know how, but he does manage to get him. We see here, we've got Mane coming in hot. We think, you know what, we're going to get a Vardy goal. Makes it easy. It's a cross goal. It's a sweat. But in terms of him being there, he seems to always be on the right kind of zone. He manages to get people. Um, I think his aggression does wonders. Lovely little kind of like half volley there. And he always manages to get past people. Don't know how. He just literally manages to bully his way through. I believe that is the aggression. So I said if we do get any more strength with him, a little bit more kind of like skill, I would love to see a foot birthday Vardy. What a ball that was. And he can even assist as well, to be fair. With that engine, does wonders for his passing. But if we do see a Vardy with like an extra four star, four star, he is going to be a monstrous striker. And I feel like that's one thing that really lets him down in terms of kind of like his just meta ability that will always stop him at that last hurdle, in my opinion. As we see him in this overall, like I say, the price wise, it's, it's a big difference. We look at this for literally shooting, dribbling, physical, you're paying that much more. It's unreal. I get that you do get a lot of nice stats going on, but in terms of the kind of like how much that will affect the game, probably not as much as as you think. He's already got 90 composure, which is absolutely perfect. He just got up to 93, so it is always better, but it's not going to be that massive difference that makes that 88 Vardy worth 200,000 coins more than this Vardy. And this Vardy is going to go down tomorrow during rewards if you are lucky enough to pack him or red pick him. Then, to be honest, he's a nice card. He's not necessarily my first player, uh, my kind of like first team striker, but definitely is a super sub. He can have some impact in terms of links. We've already seen English links, absolutely phenomenal. We've already got some traits on him. Team player dives into tackles, and then the generation of him because he's a little bit older. He's not necessarily 
come through the ranks of the, the normal way to come into FIFA. He came very old, FIFA 13, silvers, and we saw him kind of like take off. And during the, the kind of Leicester champion champions uh, season, he managed to get some really good cards. Team of the season after team of the season. He's managed to only get one in form in FIFA 17 after such a good season in 16. 18, team of the season, footmas and path to glory. In 19, a player of the month. I think that was an SBC league card as well as a couple of, a few in forms in fact. Managed to get a couple last year with a team of the week moment, headliner, player of the month. And then finally with his 95 team of the season. He always seems to be on fire. Honestly, he scores quite a few goals um, in terms of his in real life I'm sure it'll tell me he scored 10 goals in 12 matches you can't really ask for much more in, in a Premier League striker for a team that's doing well I'd say that's pretty good he's done really really well in, in terms of his performances and I can definitely see him putting himself in, in quite a few more specials the only thing I think that really needs to change is the free star free star that would be nice as four pace is fine shooting's definitely fine passing you, you can get away without it like yes it would be nice to have more of it but you can definitely get away without it for him and then dribbling sorting that agility balance out on the balance would be nice and then a bit more strength and this card turns into an absolute unit and in terms of similar cards just as we finish this off Watkins is very similar I wouldn't really I suppose Haaland's not nice. I wouldn't really say many of them are actually that similar. If we do go into Premier League strikers, just to show you the kind of magnitude of what we've got to deal with. Mane obviously is unreal. We've then got a, a rule breaker, Kane, that is nice. I wouldn't say he's worth 1.3, but he's nice. We obviously have the record breaker. Firmino's not really it this year. Rashford is phenomenal. Werner is phenomenal. Um, and then Zaha. I do like Zaha. And Jesus is going to go up as he goes through the Champions League. So that will definitely be a card to watch as we go further and further into the Champions League. But overall, I personally would give Vardy... I'd probably give him like a an 8, maybe an 8.5. No, I'm going to stick with 8. I think 8 out of 10. He's got a, a few more things that I want going for him. Definitely a higher rate than his record breaker in terms of efficiency for coins than actual kind of game style. His, his, his record breaker technically, stat-wise, is better. But I think if you look at the coin difference and kind of weigh up the, the options, I think the, the inform has definitely got to be kind of just edging himself as the better one to get. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. And I'll see you all for the next one. Make sure you sub. Peace.